Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on start a podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Anjali Ori Bailey on the line, also known as Chef Jolie, and she's the founder, CEO, and chef over at Low Country Cuisine. Uh, chef Jolie, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate oh. it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to have you on the show. We're going to talk about your launch of your all-purpose seasoning, a dab, a do ya. First of all, great title. I heard that. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so clever. This is so good. Um, <laughs> thank you. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so we're going to get into that, and I want to get into the launch. But before we do, um, let's go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Low Country Cuisine. So tell us a little bit more about the business, please. Okay. Uh, well, Low Country Cuisine. Cuisine spelled with a Q. I always tell people just think the queen of Southern Gourmet. Uh, mm-hmm. We are a, a full-service catering company, and we specialize in weddings, corporate events, private home events, um, pretty much any time that you have a gathering of people and you need food and you need good food, you call Low Country Cuisine. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Um, let's, um, so let's just, uh, dive right into this. So obviously you have your, you know, low country cuisine and now you have this seasoning. So tell me kind of the story behind this. Like, how'd this all come about? So I had, I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I'll start there. Um, I grew up in a household where my mother was an entrepreneur and I was just always taught to find something that you love doing and you'll never work a day in your life. Like that was what I grew up hearing on a constant basis. And I um, I just had a natural, um, I can't call it natural. My grandparents were both in the culinary industry. And when I would spend summers in Charleston, South Carolina, which is the low country, um, they would cook all the meals. And I learned so much from them. And I just naturally took a a liking to cooking and entertaining and preparing food for friends parties and what have you and in 2007 um, I decided that I would make a a business of my passion of cooking and then uh, fast forward to 2009 I left my corporate job and went out to uh, pursue low country cuisine as a full time business, and I always had a vision that I wanted to do uh, more than just be a chef and own more than just a catering company. I, I had a vision for retail products and um, signature items that I would see on the shelves and being sold all across the country. And as fate would have it, it this year when uh, the pandemic hit, I had a lot of time on my hands because we had to temporarily stop having weddings and events. And so uh, one of the first um, products that made sense to me because people had talked so much here in Dallas about how great our food is and how it doesn't taste like wedding food or regular catering food and, you know, what is it that you put on your food? And I had this house seasoning. We're calling it a house seasoning when I – my company full-time in 2009 that we used on just about everything. And so it just made sense to me to um, formulate that seasoning into a large, how to make it in large quantities and package it. And the name Adabaduya, because really it works on everything and you just need a dab and it'll do you real good. 
<laughs> I, I love so this. How, what a great story. So, so that's, now, how, that's how Adabadu you started. I love it. So what a great story. So now, obviously, um, you know, you're much further along than this initial concept. You know, there's some entrepreneurs out there listening that they may have some ideas, too, and they're thinking about, like, ah, you know, I want to do it, but should I do it or should I not? And it sounds like you have that entrepreneurial, like, fire in you. I mean, what kind of advice would you give to that new entrepreneur that's maybe out there thinking, and it doesn't have to be a food concept. It could be anything. I just mean in general. Like, they're trying to get something off the shelf or on the shelf or off the shelf, one or two, uh, and, they're, uh, and, they're, and they're thinking about it. And, like, what kind of advice would you give them having now the benefit of hindsight and launching your product well the first thing that i will say you know people talk about the good the bad the ugly and what have you um there there is that in, in everything in life so um as you're thinking of becoming an entrepreneur you have you know these grand dreams and visions just like i did and once you get into um, actually working on your business or working on your idea, there are going to be obstacles. There are going to be hiccups. It is inevitable. And there was a piece of advice that I got from somebody when I first started, and it was simply to just keep moving forward. And it sounds like something that's so simple. However, um, as an entrepreneur yourself, you know how important how important that is Every day that you wake up is to be in that mindset of whatever this day brings me to remember to always just keep keep moving forward. I mean, I've been doing this since 2007, 13 years in total. I can't tell you how many times that unexpected things have popped up and I have felt totally defeated. And I've had my, you know, my cheerleaders say, well, you know, you could just close up shop and go get a job somewhere else. <laughs> and I just have to hear that one or two times, and I'm like, oh, okay, keep moving forward yeah. every single day. <laughs> every single day, keep keep moving forward. Hey, I love that. That's what you call motivation right there. You're like, oh, well, you could always just do that. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. All right, I'll go back to work. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. What a great entrepreneurial story. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the uh, about the product, the, the seasoning itself, like what people can expect, where can they get it. Like, Give us some more of those details because one thing I like doing is supporting entrepreneurs, and I know my audience does also. So tell us a little bit more how, about how we can move some seasoning here and how I can get some. I need some too. I, I need a dab of do me too. I know it'll do you, yeah, but does it do me is the question. I want some too. A dab will get it done for everybody. So, like um, like we say, the seasoning is an all-purpose, everyday seasoning that you can literally use on everything. My friends that are vegans, my friends that are gluten-free, our customers that are vegetarian, our um, seafood lovers, you can put it on pizza, popcorn, french fries. I even have a customer that puts it on green salad, like just a mixed green salad. It literally takes whatever your dish is, to the next level. And the best thing about a dab of Duya, there's no guesswork. Um, I started doing some locking demos once a week on Instagram and uh, Facebook called At Home with Low Country Cuisine, where I would teach people how to make chef-inspired, chef-quality meals with ingredients that you have in your pantry. And of course, using a dab of Duya. And I cannot tell you how many people have said that they have found it so much easier and they're so less intimidated because um, they don't have to think about how much garlic powder or how much onion powder, how much pepper, how much cayenne. Adabaduya has the right ratio of all of these seasonings in there so that it takes the guesswork out of, of cooking. Really, all you need is Adabaduya. So many people send me pictures and videos where they have pushed their other seasonings to the side, and now a dab of Duya is like front and center in their kitchen, and they literally use it every day. Um, you can purchase it on our website, which is www.low, L-O-W, country, just like the word, country, and cuisine, Q-U-I-S-I-N-E dot com. You can go there and purchase a dab of Duya, and it will show up at your door ready for you to break it in and use it in the kitchen. And the great thing about it, too, is turmeric is one of our ingredients in the Dabaduya. And if you've done any research at all uh, regarding the health benefits of turmeric, 
um, you just can't go wrong. So good food that has seasoning and includes turmeric and it, it's good for you too. Come on. What else are you asking for? No, I love this. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I, I'm going to try it because I get made fun of around here because let's just say – my cooking is not the best, chef. So, like, I'm going to start following. What's your Instagram? Because I need to follow it, and I need everybody listening to follow it, too. So what's your Instagram? Because I get made fun of around here because my food, when I try to cook, so uh, this is not going to turn into a confessional, but I get made fun of, let's just say. So, what's your Instagram? I want everybody to follow this, and I'm going to follow because I wanna, I'm going to have to look at some of these demos, too, for real. Yeah, and I can help you and everyone else who gets made fun of. My Instagram is chef underscore Joe Lee, J-O-L-I-E underscore Low Country Cuisine. So chef underscore Joe Lee underscore Low Country Cuisine. I post the ingredients before the live so you can go and purchase what you don't have in your pantry. And then we start every live off with a, with a cocktail first. So if the food doesn't turn out right on your end, doesn't matter because now everybody's had a great cocktail. <laughs> and we're all having a good time. And then we go into the recipe. People can ask questions, and I show you how to use the Dabaduya and really just make it easy and fun and approachable to, to cook. Oh man, this is awesome. Well, well, Steph, um, definitely a big fan of the work you're doing. I'm gonna follow you on Instagram. I'm gonna check out the seasoning because I need I need a dab of do me too um, to do ya. Uh, however, I want I want some too because I'm gonna, I need to stop getting made fun of around here for my cooking skills. So maybe maybe that'll help me a little bit more. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you had fun listening because we had fun making this for you. If you did, don't forget subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. I'd love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And, Chef, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I hope you have a great day.